Here we go. I present to you Little Ninjas. Little Ninjas, you say? Yeah, Little Ninjas, huh? <laughs> I'm just playing. Little Ninjas, you say? Let's go back in time to 1992. Remember Three Ninjas? Who can forget that classic diarrhea scene? Instant diarrhea. I'm gonna take a major dump, big time. <laughs> Well, guess what? Would you believe that this... Oops. This is actually not a ripoff of Three Ninjas. That's right. This actually came out two years before Three Ninjas. And on top of that, its other title is Three Little Ninjas and the Lost Treasure. Well, is it good? Hmm. No, it's not. So Little Ninjas takes place on the fictional island of Rotonga. And yeah, this movie's pretty fictional. Look at those flimsy cosplay swords. Are those bad guys or LARPing nerds? And meet Sarak, the main villain. Sarak is looking for a treasure map containing all the riches from the people of Rotonga. Of all the crazy ideas. Oh, ugly. Oh, what do they do for excitement around here? Hmm. For fun? Well, for starters, they wear funny hats. Look at the guy on the right. It's a Confederate flag shirt that says good old boy. I don't know what's better, that shirt or Mr. Toothless here stroking his sword. And the plot of Little Ninjas? So the three kids make a promise to this dying man who hands off the treasure map. The rest of the movie is basically these three boys defending themselves from Sarak with the help of their sensei karate teacher. Oh! oh. And the only reason why these kids have to fight bad guys in the first place, um, mom, you have terrible parenting skills. Okay, I'm going to browse around and do some shopping, okay? Stevie? Stevie, I don't want your boys going too far. Okay, mom! Why would you leave your kids alone on a random island like this? I mean, I'm pretty sure this is where child trafficking happens. And how about those acting skills? i got to find my mom! Wait! Those guys are still out there! Yeah, but my mom! It might hurt her! Yeah, that's right. Man, this has been some vacation. And in the vein of the classic Home Alone, well, we get the lazy version. <laughs> and don't you forget those eggs to the face. I will follow you to the end of the earth! That treasure is mine! Yeah, that'll show them. Give them salmonella. Well, guess what happens next? They escape. Movie's over, right? The movie should essentially end because a family makes it back to their hometown in good old sunny California. Well, boy, that was quick. But no, somehow Sarak and his crew track them down to the karate tournament. Okay, like, how does that happen? Like, did, did they get their names back in the island? Um... It is them! The boys that were with the women! There's no way they got their names. The internet didn't exist in 1990, so it's not like they had the help of that. I mean, they couldn't just be like, oh, Facebook, who took a vacation on our island of Rotonga? And just like Home Alone, we get the Asian version. <laughs> oh, we get the Asian versions of uh, Marvin Harry. What do you think they keep the map, Emil? Quite fool. We'll follow the boys, and they'll lead us to it. Oh, look, more subtle racism. Master. Uh, yeah. This happens all throughout the movie. To be shackled with two imbeciles, sired by a caraboa, and a goat. But master, all is not lost. A handshake? No. High five? No. Just see Kyle. And the best line of the movie. Legend of Zelda is so cool. I know I got it. So after that karate practice, once again, Sensei has to save the day from another attack. Hey! That guy again! <laughs> <laughs> again, I have to ask, where the heck was mom? She was inside the practice, where'd she go? Okay, and what is hands down the most ridiculous part of this movie? The Sensei says he has a contact in the State Department when he reaches out for help. 
Because you know, when you have creepy foreigners attacking little kids, you call the cops, right? Well, you take it and do something about this. No way. I've been ordered not to get involved. Not involved? What do you mean? My kids are being attacked and threatened because of this map. I know, but the man responsible for this, Council General Sarek and his men, are covered by diplomatic immunity. Uh, yeah, because we all know those guys are diplomats. Uh, so what's the solution? I'll work as fast as I can. Meanwhile, can't you take the kids and hide out for a few days? Oh, gee, that's a great idea. I'll just go hide out for a couple days. I wonder, would he tell a female the same thing if she was like, hey, I'm being chased by a rapist. What are you going to do about it? Oh, they have diplomatic immunity. You just need to go hide in the woods for a few days. Hmm. And to the woods we go for a weekend of karate fun, which is where we met this guy. His name is Cookie, by the way. Now, the last 30 minutes of this movie is essentially a non-stop chase scene of the three boys defending themselves. But you know what? Nothing's as effective as a staple gun to the dick. And for the second most ridiculous scene of Little Ninjas, Sara grabs a random kid with a knife and threatens a sensei to give up the map. Now, at this point, you would just give up the map, right? Um, because there's a kid with a knife to his throat? But no, he doesn't give up the map. And then, out of nowhere, the spirit of the evil dead comes out. Just kidding, that'd be cool though, right? Those guys are gonna kill us! Yeah, let's go get those guys! Wait a minute, since they told us not to use martial arts to hurt anyone. Really? You guys have been using martial arts this whole time and now you're concerned about your karate ethics? Oh, and after a question of ethics, they straight up try to commit murder. <laughs> Nothing logical really makes sense, but that's kind of to be expected with these crummy VHS gems. And so the story ends with all of them going all the way back to the island. Oh, so you know, they can have a stupid celebration. Why would you go back there for a celebration? Well, there you have it. First, I found Little Marines and then Little Ninjas. If you know of any other awful little movies out there, please let me know. Maybe there's a Little Firefighters or Little Cops or Little Bigfoot or The Littlest Viking or Little Vampire. Ugh. Hey, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more video crap reviews, please subscribe and keep in touch. I'd love to hear any suggestions you have of movies that you might know about that I don't know about. Send me an email, subscribe, comment, like. We'll see you soon.